Welcome back to How Many Tries, a content free time show where we normally look at 3D models in video games, but we're doing something a little different today. Instead of dissecting models that already exist, I'm going to test whether AI can actually generate 3D assets that could work in video games. I've been hearing a lot about Meshi.ai lately, and they've just launched their newest version, Meshi 6 Preview, with some pretty significant improvements. So today I want to see how these AI-generated models compare to the game assets that we usually look at on the channel. But before we dive in, a bit of context. Meshi.ai has become pretty massive in the 3D creation space. Over 6 million creators are using it, and they've generated more than 40 million models. But numbers don't mean much if the quality isn't there, so I wanted to see for myself how these models actually hold up, especially compared to the kind of assets that we usually analyze on the channel. So what makes Meshi 6 Preview different? Well, according to their release notes, they've made some major improvements in three key areas. First, the character and organic models. They're claiming better anatomy, more natural muscle definition, and actually expressive faces, not just the generic fantasy style faces you see in a lot of procedural generation. Second, the hard surface models. They've got sharper edges, cleaner geometry, and better structural accuracy, which is big for things like weapons, vehicles, and architectural elements. Third, the overall mesh precision. This allows for more detailed geometry that could actually work as a foundation for higher fidelity game assets. They're also pushing this new Nano Banana integration, which supposedly streamlines your workflow, plus a 3D to video feature that can turn your models into cinematic sequences. But today I'm more focused on the core question, just how good are the meshes or models? So let's actually generate something. I'm going to test a few different categories to see where this thing shines and where it could fall apart. I'm starting with a character prompt, Sonic the Hedgehog in a running pose. Let's see if AI can capture that iconic video game character design. Okay, and yeah, that was fast. Let me bring this into Blender and take a closer look at the topology. So right off the bat, the topology is actually pretty good. The quills have a clean separation, and the proportions are surprisingly close to the actual game model. Look at how the geometry is organized around those signature big eyes and the muzzle area. Let's check out the poly count. We're sitting at around 440,000 tries, which is quite a bit. But here's the cool thing. We can go back into Meshi and actually tell it that we want to remesh the model. For this example, let's just try 3,000 tries. And look at that! It almost looks better than the high poly model. Let's see what this looks like with some textures. The textures look good too. For the most part, the colors are accurate to Sonic's iconic look. There are a few details that aren't quite perfect, but we can always adjust that later in Blender. Considering just how quick this was, I'm extremely impressed. Let me try another iconic character, Princess Peach. This is interesting since she has more complex elements, like the dress, the crown, and the jewelry. So let's see how the AI handles fabric and accessories. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. A bit more realistic than I was expecting. But look, the dress actually has proper folds and flow. It's not just a rigid cone. The crown sits pretty naturally on her head. And look at the hair topology. It looks like it's actually organized in a way that could be rigged for animation or something. And finally, let's try something a little harder. I'm generating Bowser to test those hard service improvements they mentioned. His shell, the spikes, those sharp horns. This is where I could see a lot of AI tools falling apart. Let's see what happens when I just type in Bowser. Okay, not bad at all. But look at the shell segments. They're actually defined as separate geometric pieces. They're not just like painted on with textures. The spikes are sharp and clean, and the horns have that solid chunky look that you'd expect from Bowser's design. One thing I really appreciate is how well this can integrate into actual workflows, since you can export directly into Blender with like one click. They even have a batch processing feature if you need to generate multiple variations quickly. And looking at that 3D to video feature, I tested it out with Sonic, and look at this! Sonic running through Green Hill Zone, rendered in just a couple minutes. Super useful for experimenting or maybe getting a basic feel for what you want a scene to look like. So here's my honest take. This probably isn't going to replace actual skilled 3D artists anytime soon, but as a tool for rapid prototyping or concept visualization or filling out background assets, it's legitimately impressive. The mesh quality in Meshi 6 Preview is a noticeable step up from what I've seen in other AI 3D generators. The topology is cleaner, the details are sharper, and perhaps most importantly, 
the models seem to be actually usable in production pipelines without major cleanup. If you're a solo dev, a concept artist who needs quick 3D mockups, or just someone who wants to experiment with 3D creation without the steep learning curve, I'd say this is definitely worth checking out. Meshi is running a special offer right now, 50% off for new users, and there is no code needed. But I will drop my affiliate link in the description if you want to test it for yourself. Thanks to Meshi.ai for sponsoring this video. And if you want to see more videos where I break down 3D models, whether they're from games, AI tools, or anything else, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.